to the road beck and calls. Welcome back to another day. Uh, here we are, we're still in Lafayette. Uh, Laf Lafayette? Lafayette? Not sure. Anyway, we're in Louisiana and um, we're here. At Vermillionville Living History. Yeah. So it's part of the national parks. Um, yeah, we're, we're really struggling at the moment to try and find things that we want to do. Yeah. Um, but this popped up on the radar, so here we are. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go inside, check it out, and see what we can learn about. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It should be a good day. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. Together, we're gonna get some food first because we're starving. <laughs> Restaurant. <laughs> La Cuisine de Maman Restaurant. There you go. Time for two in this restaurant. Let's go. So here's the menu. With taste meets tradition. Oh, we got, we got pie boys. Okay, so we're going to get a bowl of gumbo to share. Yep. And I'm going to get a ham and cheese pie boy. So pretty much a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah. And what are you going to get, Tom? I think I'm going to go with the... Good choice. I might steal a, a shrimp. You stole one of mine the other day. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have chum dog food on your plate, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Um, water has lemon in it. Nice. Yeah, nice little touch. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How's the water, Stacey? <laughs> After we cheers, we both took a drink. I turned the camera off, and at the same time, we both went, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Um, anyway, we've ordered. Um, hopefully, the food's a lot better. We've got the gumbo. And uh, to share, Stacey's got the po' boy. And then I've got the seafood. Well, it's not a seafood platter, really. It's a fried platter. So we've got chicken, strips, I got some shrimp, and also um, catfish. So, yeah, should be good. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a big plate going on. Wow. That's a bigger plate. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> Is a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a start. Oh, you're chunks. These are really good. Right. Sweet potato fries. And I have this behemoth of brown. I think that's catfish, that's chicken, that's a shrimp. Alright, uh, get the check and head on outside and explore. Okay. We have stopped at our first house. Didn't go very far. This is a Kusain house. Look at the timber shingles on the roof. Huh. The staircase out the front. It says open. Wow. It's like the walls are like yeah, mud? Is it it's mud? I need to see it from looking at the walls, like how rugged and rough they were. Looks gross. <laughs> it's like hair. It looks like hair, but I'm not sure uh. what it is. Maybe it's like grass, hay, like... Yeah, something. There's probably something in this room to show. Oh, look here. 
Mud, moss, and cypress. Hmm. Oh, there it is here. So there's your fibres. There's your clay. Yeah. That's how they do it all. 1765 cattle iron. So you brand your cattle. Cane knives. There's the machetes that they used to harvest for the enslaved people. We learned about that yesterday. Look at this. Look at this knife. It's obsidian. You're still checking out the uh... Yeah. So what have we got? We've got mud and clay and the moss and all the other bits and pieces. And we've got some like timbers that go in between with these timbers as uprights. So it would have been really good for sound deadening and insulation as well. Yeah, true. Outside. Okay, we're moving on out of this house. There's definitely an upstairs to that house. Oh, check out the chimney. Oh, look at this one. This house is enormous. Yeah. So they uh, spin wool and make clothes. Okay. Well, I have no idea what any of this does it's to a degree. I know it makes yarn. But that's cool. Like... You just pedal some pedals and away it'll go. Well, it's all pinned. There's no that whole thing is held together by pins, like wooden pins. Yeah. Holding it all together. No nails. There's raw cotton or picked cotton, and this is refined cotton where they take the the stuff out of it. So fluffy. And that's yarned. What they spin it it's into? It's a ball of yarn. Yes. Mm. 200 year old schoolhouse, give or take. Yeah. We're going back to school, Stace. <laughs> Only 200 years ago. I probably would have did better back then. <laughs> you probably would have did better back then. Yeah. Could have learnt a bit of English. <laughs> oh wow. The teacher's desk over here. I'm assuming. Yeah. And look at all these old desks. No, so each one of these here right, is a seat. So the front's a seat, the back of it's the desk for the child behind. Oh. Do you see now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I wonder, do they lift up? No, they don't. They didn't have a. Uh, Is this the Mouton, the Mutton House, or the Mouton House? <laughs> Middle class Acadian family. This is the wood up the top. It has a detached kitchen. Detached kitchen. So yeah, representing a home of a middle class family. Some Cajun families built up a large land holding and became successful through ranching, trading, and farming. It was just a random anvil. Yeah. Okay, and this house is set up as a woodworking house. Okay, interesting. Oh, look at the rock and roll space. So this is a kitchen out the back. Oh yeah. That way I guess if it burns down, you don't lose the house. Yeah. Well technically. Detached kitchen. Yeah. Detached kitchen. Built separately from the main residence to reduce heat and threat of fire. See? Yeah. Had it right. Mm -hmm. 
The Millionville Living History Park allows you to really step back in time with a historic walk following paths that connect to each of the fully restored buildings, as well as other recreations of this period, dating from the time of 1765 through to 1890. These family homes are from local Acadian, Creole and Native Americans, which display how they provided for themselves and their families. They have regular artisans that provide demonstrations on essential crafts that was once used in this time period. Unfortunately for our visit, there wasn't many historians or artisans here today. We still had a great time wandering through each house discussing with ourselves what things were and would have been used for. And out the back you've got the uh, porch area. And they're those cabinet rooms that they were talking about. Yeah, we can't access them. And you've got a well out the back as well. And the old outhouse. How about that? Yeah. Full set up. This is a very simple residence. From the early 1800s. And what style is this built in, Stacey? Uh, this is Cajun. It's Cajun the one with the staircase? Yes. <laughs> and they I'm have the, learning. And they have the gable roofs, yeah? Um, yes. Yeah. So there's the gable roof. Flat side, gable. And there's the uh, outside stairs. This is the Lagrange family house. It's tiny. 1830. Upstairs, let's see if I can extend this pole up there. I tried, guys. I threw you up on that pole, see if you can see anything. You'll wake the dead if that door slams. Way too heavy. <laughs> well, we gotta get in the third. Okay, simple technology. Basically, pull on the rope and it will come. Strong arm in it. Yeah. We're using him to take some kids for hours. <laughs> you like it in the old days. Just walk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good old swamp waters. Absolutely. So is there alligators in here? I don't think so. I think they keep it out of keep the alligators out of here. Yeah. Not welcome. Oh, slow it down. Here we go. You guys from Australia? Yeah. Thought so. Recognize the accent. Oh, it smells like a swamp. Yep. They just hook it on the inside. Oh, no. <laughs> if not, you would have had to loop all the way around. Cool. Old Thank time you. Fairy. Yeah. <laughs> cool, huh? It's definitely different. Didn't expect it. <laughs> the kids have spent hours out there. Yeah, just going back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> Stop it in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Thank you, man. <laughs> Nevertheless, my hands now smell like crap. <laughs> so, thank you, Swamp. Uh, couldn't let the man do it himself, though. Russell. Russell house, isn't he? It's a plantation home. Uh -huh. 1790, the oldest building here. This is the oldest building, and it is in Cajun styling.
That song is goes back to the 18th century, and uh, it's a tragic song. Death was always present back then. Um, yellow fever, uh, the flu. Uh, women often died in childbirth. Your children had a 60% chance of seeing their 18th birthday. Your horse threw you on the way into town. You asked the wrong woman to dance and you got shot. I mean, you know, death was always <laughs> present. This song is a very tragic song. It's seven by a French surgeon who uh, left Europe after serving in the army and wanted to get away from the war and all that came here. And um, he married an Acadia girl. This house was originally south of here on a cattle ranch. Yeah, okay. So all the houses were brought here? Yeah, they were yeah, brought it was all, yeah. They were to all save it. Yeah. Yeah. There was nothing here before. We wanted to try to... Replicate it. Yeah, and tell people what life was like here between yeah. 1765 to about 1900. Yeah. yeah, it's very similar to like Red Oak. Yeah. Up in... Um, Carthage. That's Carthage, yeah. The Acadians, and a lot of people call themselves Cajuns even though they're not Acadians. It's a way of life. Uh, you don't give a damn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So no. Australian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm just doing my own thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm determining my own future. I'll do what I want. Yeah. We were, to me, I think a big distinction is Creole people were old world people in a new world. We were a new world people. Yeah. Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, that's where we settled. Yeah. And, uh, Britain and the uh, French fought 11 wars over that territory. Yeah. They didn't want the other side to have it. Neither side really wanted it. We were the first French colony, and then Quebec started. Quebec had the furs and all that. That's what the French Yeah, that's yeah, there. Canada. So more people went there. Yeah. Um, we were kind of uh, forgotten, and uh, we would pit one crown against the other. We, we, wanted, we were Republican, I don't mean Republican Party in the United States, yeah. we were Republican in that we wanted to determine our own future. Yeah. Nobody, we didn't want anybody telling us what to do. There's a saying about Cajuns, you can tell a Cajun a mile away, but you can't tell them a damn thing up close. That's, <laughs> that's Australian stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to do it your way. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's who we were. Yeah. And, uh, it's the best way to live. Oh, it's the only way to live. Yeah. And we like to laugh. You gotta laugh. <laughs> if you learn how to laugh, you'll laugh your way through anything life ever throws at you. It's a, a good thing to try and remember all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, I had some friends. Um, they lived along the coast, and one of the hurricanes, a tidal wave, they lived on a brick in a brick home on a slab. Yeah. The hurricane wiped their house completely off the slab. Yeah. When they got there, the only thing left was the slab. slab. Yeah. And uh. They're both crying. She goes, what are we going to do? <laughs> you fucking bitch, you wanted to remodel. We're going to remodel now. Nah. <laughs> I said, okay. And you can laugh. I'm going to laugh too. We're going to get through this. <laughs> no, you got to laugh. You got to remodel from the ground up. Oh, yeah, you got to laugh. You're going to really remodel now. <laughs> and it's the only way to do Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to tell you a joke, you're going to love this. Uh, Cajun joke, this is typical of our humor. Yeah. Boudreaux is a family name here, but Boudreaux is always the name in our jokes. Yeah. The doctor opens his office, first patient to walk in early in the morning is Mr. Boudreaux. He says, good morning, Mr. Boudreaux, what ails you? Oh, nothing, up. I feel good. He said, why are you in my office? He said, doc, I've come to ask you about something. I heard they have a female Viagra. That's true. He says, yeah, it works. Seems to. That's what I want. And Mr. Guru, you're a man. Why you want female Viagra? He said, Doc, I'm 75 years old. I still want it. But my wife, my lady, will not nothing to do with that no more. And since we're friends, I thought maybe you could give me some samples. He says, Mr. Guru, I can't do that. I have to have mommy's consent. I have to examine her to make sure she's healthy enough for that. Oh, doc, you know Marie, she walks around saying a rosary all the time. She goes to church every day. She's not going to come talk to you about that. 
And besides, she's strong as a mule. You see that big garden she grows. She gives you vegetables all the time. I know, but Mr. Goudreau, I could lose my medical license. Hmm. Lose your license, yeah. Well, when you killed 30 ducks over your limit and you got caught, I took the blame. You, you kept hunting. I lost my license. You owe me. He said, all right, all right. Don't let anybody find out. I'll give you some more when you run out. But I'm going to give you a little packet of 10 samples. When you have the urge, drop on in a coffee and we'll fix you up. When you run out, come back. Oh, boy, Lord, Charlie. He goes home, he sneaks in the house, he looks in the bedroom, his wife's snoring away like a bullfrog still. So he tiptoes in the kitchen, he makes some coffee. He drops one and he stirs it. Hmm. It's been so long and she's so big now, it might take two to get excited. So he drops another one. <laughs> That's a big woman, I'm a little man, she gets too excited, she might hurt me, I better take one too, so he takes one. He thinks, Doc said he'd give me some more and I have fun, so he dumps the rest in here, she has eight, she has two, female violence. He brings her coffee in bed, says, Mommy, I made you coffee. He says, oh, you're so sweet, boy, he's sipping on that coffee. She takes the last sip, she bangs it down, she says, I don't know what's wrong with me. But I want a man so bad. He said, me too. That's far. Get back far, boy. <laughs> That's a good joke. Thanks, man. I think we've been talking to that gentleman for the past hour, hour and a half. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, it's unreal. Gave us a real southern hospitality. Yes, 100%. Mm. Look at this. Must be bed, bed robes. Yeah. The barn. Oh. Oh. Huh. It's a oh. big pile of turrets. Oh, they got a donkey. Oh wow, that is a big pile of turds. And we got some uh, sheep. Oh, we got some sheep over there. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if he plays with the soccer ball. <laughs> wow. Hello. Donkey's coming. Please don't bite me. I got one finger. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Next minute, bite your finger off. Yeah. He wants to be, he wants to be yeah, patted. He ain't silly. <laughs> he knows where it's at. So cute. Bulk vault house, late 1800s. Okay. Mm. It's Creole. Mm. Not bad. Fancy that, not, Dylan. I was not expecting that. No. Hang my hat up. Bathroom. Mm. Yeah. Non-functional rapid. Fine China tea. More of a after class home, I think this one. Yeah. Yeah, old baby seat. Yeah. Oh, you got an old phone. Taken out by the phone, hangs out that far. Oh, yeah. Hmm, weird. So 1860. That's like a 160 year old house. Which 
too bad. What style is this? This is Cajun. Because it has the stairs. Can't go into these ones. Just gotta look. It's got a chain there, so you can't you can't walk all the way in. Which I wonder why. You can do it in all the other ones. Oh. Maybe that's why. I'm exposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all I can say is I'm glad uh, Kevin was there. Yeah. Because um, yeah, if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't have been half the experience it was. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks Kevin. And he can play that accordion really well. Yeah, he definitely can. He's eight, been playing since he was 17. Yeah. I think that's it. We've seen everything here. Yeah. So now we're on our way back out. So we're going to go back through the gift shop. They nail you with that, don't they? <laughs> yeah. They love that over here. Gift shop on the way in and on the way out here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely worth a stop. We uh, struggled today to find something and um, stumbled across this. Yeah, glad we did. On our searches, yeah. and yeah, it was well worth it. So, hope you enjoyed today as much as we did. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Yeah, I know.